guys it's Marisa welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here hey how are you doing welcome to my channel I am so happy that you guys are here today so what are we doing today so I have these tiles and I showed you one the other uh, my last video and it's over my other corner there um, and I can't run to get it right now but anyway um, I did, I think I did a flip cup on it, which is weird, I guess, for a tile, but, you know, I just wanted to try it. I never used tiles before. So these tiles, they are not glossy whatsoever, and both sides are blank. Basically, you pour on this side, um, yeah, that would make sense. And you could varnish them after, and they come with these really cool little, um, cork pieces. They're thin, and they're self-adhesive. So, because I thought originally they were going to be already on there, the, in the description of the um, item, it didn't really say. So I was like, oh, well, if I get paint on the cork, that's going to ruin it. But I'm so happy that they did not come like that. Anyway, so we are going to do two tiles today, one pastel color and one neon color. And... Uh, for some reason, my torch is working again. We'll see when it's time to take out any uh, potential bubbles if it's going to work. But it started working again yesterday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday's video, uh, my torch stopped working in the middle of everything. So you know, it's temperamental and there's probably like paint or some, something stuck in there. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, it's filthy. It, you know, it needs a bath, but that's impossible. <laughs> So I just want to show you a couple things um, here. So this is not uh, attached yet, but I added a couple of things yesterday because like a fool, I was picking it up off my rack and I got a little fingerprint. I was trying really hard, so I added glitter <laughs> to, you know, just kind of cover it up. Not really, but actually it kind of looks cool. It's a Valentine's craft so it's not like a painting painting so I could be a little you know extra with it and I did add these little pieces that you pop out of here so I thought that actually it actually worked the paint was still wet and I think I may varnish this to kind of um, just give it uh, one final touch I think it'll be cool and then I will attach it to um, the felt and the foam with a little hot glue and very quickly, this little guy dried perfectly, really pretty and icy looking, just the way I wanted. Uh, I may save this, um, you know, I may make a little um, ornament out of it. I'll like fix the back up, because the back obviously isn't done, you know, this was drying. And uh, yeah, I may, you know, try and find something like a hook that I could, um, like hot glue. It's very, very light, so that would probably work. And actually, I can't wait to see what wood pieces I'm going to be getting in my next subscription box. You basically get two um, wood cuts with each subscription box, it seems. The starter kit, you get more. You get a round, and you get like, like two squares, and then you get um, a couple of those wood, uh, like kind of cool uh, wood pieces. Actually, you get quite a few of them. I got a polar bear, the uh, owl, this guy. And I forgot one more thing. So anyway, and these are done. So for all my beautiful subscribers that won my last giveaway, these guys are done. And I found these are not the ones I actually wanted. This was the last thing I wanted to add to this project. These are not exactly the ones I wanted to find, but these actually work. I thought these could be too big and they're actually very very light and it's actually perfect so okay, let me it's actually really perfect and i just hot glue that in the back and maybe i'm gonna see if i could cover that little area right there but you're not really gonna see um the back so much i just like to finish the back off to make it look a little nicer so yeah that is really cool so those are done um, I did buy some bubble wrap, so I'm going to start packing these up. 
Um, two of the four winners are international, so that's going to cost me a little more money to ship. So just be patient. They are coming. And Stacy Nicole from Artsy Farty Lovers, I have um, those cups I had bought for you as well. And yeah, so I'm going to get started um, wrapping these up. I have everyone contacted me. I have everyone's address. And this guy's at, it's kind of cool. This guy's actually going to India. So I love that. I love that. And then um, Chris Dallas Estrani was in Canada, all over the country. So that's really cool. And these guys are bo both, you know, down south from me. So I love that. So congratulations again. Um, just be patient. Uh, I will be, you know, sending them out as soon as I possibly can. Okay, but they are done. Just a quick update. And one more quick thing. I don't know if you remember this guy, but this was just one of my favorite pieces I have ever made. And my son actually felt the same way. Um, I actually, I was so afraid of varnishing it because I didn't want to ruin it. But I did use the tri art. Yeah, I'll show it to you real quick. Here. I used this to varnish it. Yeah, so this works so well to varnish. It's like, it just, it kind of like, it's self leveling. Very much like the resin I use. Um, yeah, it just came out beautiful. Um, I'm gonna like check. I just want to, for it to make sure it dried for quite some time before I move it. But yeah, this came out. I knew that the varnish would make it even pop even more. So that came out beautiful and I am incredibly happy with it. All right, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do two different pours today. On this tile here, I'm using only pastel colors. So what do we have here? We have sea green, we have coral, we got lavender, and we have carnation pink. And I'm thinking about doing a puddle pour in this one. I actually bought these to do blooms. Um, again, a Naptime Creations has this amazing um, recipe uh, to do to create cells on blooms. It's Amsterdam paint and flow troll. That's it. Go check her channel out and see the recipe. But it's one. Um, but go check her uh, channel anyway. The recipe is one teaspoon um, Amsterdam titanium white and two and three quarters tablespoons Floetrol. Again, usually I don't measure anything, but she's like tried this out and actually worked. And then she has a very specific um, way to do the blooms. And it, I really haven't done any, so I may mess it up, but um, I can't wait. I want to use these tiles a little bit. And after this, I'll still have nine more for me to uh, try blooms with, because this is a set of 12. All right. And on this guy, we're going to do a ring pour. And we're going to do neon. So we got neon green, neon pink, neon blue, and neon purple. And if you didn't see, we're using the Arteza Pouring Acrylics. So in these paints, you really, I've learned my lesson trying to be cute and scientific and all and add stuff to them. But actually, you know, they work just perfectly without adding anything. You know, I like trying adding stuff, um, but there's that same truck that uh, passes by every day. Um, anyway, yeah, so I have talked long enough. Basically, you just, you know, don't add anything. So I'm pretty much going to be pouring right out of the bottle. I'm going to do, like I say, a puddle pour in this guy. I'm just going to be pouring right out of the bottle. I don't want to, I don't have to waste any cups. And then these, I'm going to be pouring in that little cup back there. And we're going to do a ring pour with the neons. Alrighty. So I will be back in a minute. I'm going to clear all this off and I'm going to set up for painting. I will be back, guys.
guys, I am back. So that was uh, very a lot of fun. It was very quick and easy. Um, I am le for me. I like the neon one more. That's just my personal preference. But I think that the colors are beautiful in every one of them. There were um, a, a little bit of bubbles, air bubbles in there, um, but it was quickly taken out by the torch. So no big, and I haven't used those paints in a while. They've been sitting there. So last night I shook them up really good. So maybe that's what it was from. But otherwise, you know, these colors are very, very pretty. Um, just beautiful. I love the pastels and I equally love the neons. But yeah, I think this came out really, really nice. So yeah, that was, and then what I'll do is once these dry, I'll either varnish them or resin and then I'll put those little cork pieces on the backs and the cork doesn't like fit exactly in the back so there should be a little paint on the back of the edges to make it look nice because you know pink is going to get on the back anyway so it's fine if pink gets on the back and then you put the cork and it actually looks kind of cool. So yeah, that is that for today, guys. I am actually waiting. Today, my chakra paintings should be arriving from Florida, um, from Stacy Nicole, and uh, from Artsy Farty Lovers. So when they come, I'm just gonna do a quick video because, oh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Over the weekend, I may be a little bit busy. I don't know how many um, videos I'll be able to do, but, um, hopefully at least one more and um, I am going to show you guys it'll just be a quick video of me showing you guys um, what uh, Stacy Nicole from Artsy Farsi Lovers did on my paintings and then I'll just talk about what I'm going to do next uh, with those paintings and for her and speaking of shout outs I want to give a big shout out to this channel called Rabbit Tales by Farah Martis, and I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right, or Martis, okay? Uh, her channel is just adorable, and you have to go check it out. I'm going to link her channel below. When I started this channel, I said I want to do shout-outs, and I do shout-outs because I really appreciate people and their work, and just them as human beings. I just want to say that she gave me one literally one of the nicest things I have as anyone has ever said to me ever just heartfelt sincere um, well wishes yes compliments but like just well wishes uh, like she wants me to grow and shine brighter it was just one of the most beautiful things I have ever heard anyone come out of anyone's mouth to me so I, I'm about to cry right now actually and she brought me to tears yesterday, so it was just so beautiful. I had to shout her out today, so please go check her channel out. Um, I am going to link her channel in my description below. Her, her channel is adorable, so beautiful. I love it. Um, so thank you so, so much for saying those beautiful things. It meant the world to me. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys being here and watching. And on that note, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed these little tile paintings before I go hysterical crying. Anyway, um, I appreciate you being here. Thanks to all my new subscribers. And, yeah, my social media is in the link below. Go check me out on Instagram, Facebook, eh, you know. But it's there, and I do post there. Um, but yes, I'm more on Instagram. And yeah, and if you want to support me more, you could check out my paintings. If you, if anyone's interested in purchasing anything. And that's it for today, guys. Give this video a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.